welcome back to this week's technical. If you like this video, don't be afraid to subscribe and go and have a look at some of the other videos. Today it is sheep and it is seasonal. At the time of filming, it's around about mid-February. Lambing is imminent, if not already started for a lot of people in the UK. And if you're from outside the UK or if you have non-seasonal breeding sheep, of course, lambing could be at any time. Depending on your setup, your sheep, your farm, your vet may have recommended worming at least some of your ewes around lambing. But you may have heard, probably from that same vet, if not some of the other literature, that adult use do not need worming. So what is behind this apparent contradiction? This is due to a phenomenon called the periparturian rise or the PPR, alternatively known as the periparturian relaxation in immunity or the PPRI. Let's break it down. Peri meaning around, parturient relating to parturition, that is birth, so around birth, rise, means rise in fecal egg output of worms. Healthy adult sheep may well be carrying a small worm burden, but really the effects are negligible. The sheep have been exposed for some time. Like most infections, they mount an immune response to keep it contained. If there are worms there, they're probably not doing them much harm at all. The PPR is a temporary loss of that immunity, and it tends to happen around the most stressful time of the production calendar in late pregnancy, and during early lactation, while the ewe is feeding her lamb or lambs, as a result of this relaxation in immunity, there is a much higher than normal fecal egg output. The worms really take advantage of this stress and manage to shoot out lots more eggs. These eggs are then shed out onto the pasture. The duration of the PPR does vary. Typically, we would say two to four weeks pre-lambing and then six to eight weeks post lambing but as I say that does vary according to a number of different factors. Normally by the time lactation ends immunity is back up to its normal level. What is the relevance of the PPR? All of those eggs that are being produced and shed of course contaminate the pasture. Is that a problem for the ewes? Not really. It is much more of a problem for their lambs. They will be grazing the same ground as the ewes. Those eggs that the ewes are shedding may well set up an early infection in those lambs. Although, of course, there are also eggs overwintered and at a later stage, there will be eggs generated by worms that themselves have been developed within the lamb. The theory behind treating ewes at lambing is not really to protect the ewes. It is instead to reduce pasture contamination and therefore protect that year's lamb crop. So that is the PPR, the periparturian rise. So should all pregnant ewes be treated around lambing for worms? That is not so simple and we will cover that in part two. So stay tuned, don't forget to click that subscribe button, ring the little bell next to it so you don't miss any new videos. And of course, if you're looking for specific advice for your flock, ring your vet. Don't rely on that vet you saw on YouTube. Anyway, look forward to part two and I will see you then.